Hi friends, welcome back. I'm excited for this video. I actually have a bit of a mom's day out by myself. My mom is watching the girls today and the boys are in school. And I've been working a lot lately, so I decided I'm gonna take some time, go sit by the water, and I did that. It was so good just to sit, relax, pray, read. It always is just like such a balm for my soul, I guess. But something else that I enjoy doing when I'm by myself is going thrifting. I decided I'm gonna maybe go to some places that I don't go as often. I'm very selective right now as to what I'm bringing into my house, so I'm not sure what I'll find today or if I find anything, but we will see. I also thought that maybe if you're visiting Sarasota or you're a local and you just wanna know some more places to go to for like secondhand or thrift stores, Goodwills, Maybe this could be a reference. So the first place I'm at is called The Exchange. It's more of a consignment style store. It's not necessarily like super cheap thrifted items. A bit more antique, vintage, higher end type of things. And I generally like to just pop in here, you know, when I'm around and I have time. It's just, you never know what you'll find. something in there that I am very excited about. Ugh, I, it's, it's one of those things that's very practical and yet it's gonna look so cute. So the next one's called the Spark Treasure Chest. It's in downtown area as well. Parking is a little limited and it's a smaller store, but you know, you never know what you find here. store next. I'm kind of hitting more of these smaller non-commercialized type of stores I guess. I'm just curious what do you guys like to do when you have like a couple hours to yourself? Do you enjoy thrifting like I do? I, I know it's not everyone's jam and totally doesn't have to be. It's sort of like a form of therapy almost even if I don't always buy stuff it's just I don't know something about it. <laughs> Uh, so I'd be curious what you gravitate towards when you have a couple hours. What does that look like for you? went to Mission Thrift. Did not buy anything though, but I did see a friend. So that was fun. While I was shopping in there, I heard from Nick that our AC is not working. And so that kind of took the fire out of me. I was like, eh, I don't really feel like shopping anymore. <laughs> so I quit. I had to come get the boys anyway from school. Not the best time in Florida to not have AC. We've had an AC go out the other house too in like, when was it, August or something? Super hot. <laughs> uh, so yeah, I'm hoping it's nothing major, but I'll find out in a little bit. It's a while later and the girls are using my favorite find of the day. It's the cutest little step stool you ever saw. I got it at a consignment store. Yeah! Oakland is always needing a step stool, right? And now we have one that's cute. Yeah, but not the black one. No, not the black plastic yucky one, huh? This one's cute. Uh, this is though what has been happening with it, so it's basically a fun toy, I think. <laughs> I found that one at the exchange, the, the pink building, if you remember. So we're having a little girls' night out, I guess. Uh, the boys were supposed to have baseball practice, but it was 
kind of rainy-ish and it's not raining here it actually only sprinkled a little bit but nonetheless the practice was canceled so meanwhile I had decided to go up to UTC it's a big shopping area and they have like a an outdoor green they call it the green where they often have some like live entertainment or events or whatever well tonight is called UTC market and there's a bunch of like small shop vendors there our friends Brandon and Esther actually have a little shop it's called shop Graber Co and they sell a lot of like home related things so I know it's not thrift store related but I thought it's the same day I'm just gonna take you guys along and I'm not sure if I'll buy anything but it's just kind of an evening of fun if it doesn't rain I'm a little concerned <laughs> also an update on our air conditioning <laughs> It was actually nothing major. Plus, it was fixed in probably an hour's time or so after Nick called the guy. It's SRQ heating and cooling. All's well that ends well. There's always so many stores here to shop at too. Give us a follow, give us a like so on Facebook, cute. Instagram, yeah. till not done. Please? Our church right here. but fun. We just kind of walked around a little bit. I got a few things at my friend Esther's store and Oakland got a couple things. That's gonna call it a day for me. Okay, I thought I'd show you guys what Oakland just thought she had to have. They're the cutest. This is like a little Peppa Pig. And this is the sheep. A sheep, yeah. Those are from Shop Graber Co. This beautiful little fluted bowl is from Shop Graber Co. as well. And I got a pack of dish rags. There's kind of a green one. And then there's a blue one. And I'm needing some new dish rags anyway. So these are like super fun and cute. And I'm supporting a small business, so. Aiden and Jackson got her something. Three, two, one. <laughs> Do you like it? Do you like it? You know how to write it? I've got an audience here. She's waiting to take one of the toys I have to show you guys. So <laughs> if you're just hopping in for the haul part of it, welcome. I know sometimes thrifting in stores is not everyone's jam. So. Uh, you just want to see what I got so I get it um, but if you're still here and you've been watching thank you hopefully you enjoyed that um, let me quickly show you guys the toy that Oakland's waiting on it's these little gadgets I'm not really sure what to call them but and we've had some of these before but I feel like I've gotten rid of them but I actually thought Harper would probably enjoy these too because she's in that stage of like wanting to put stuff together like clips and uh, maybe stuffing things into containers and stuff like that so I actually thought she would probably like this uh, this one I got at Goodwill for $2.99 so I'm gonna let Oakland take this also Oakland do you want to show them yeah. what what you got here yeah so Kaden found uh, 
something at Mission Thrift for Oakland that he wanted to buy for her with his money. Blue and pink bike that Caden found and he paid for it. I think it was like $10 at Mission Thrift. So there's blue and white and pink. Correct. And it's not a new one by any means. Um, but I thought it'd be a good one she can grow into. She has a strider and it's gotten a little small for her, but yeah. I think with some practice she could. It's just this one's her feet can yeah, touch the and ground. There's a but handle it, right here. There's a handle to help you ride, right? If I'm helping you. But it's it's a tad big, but we'll we'll give it a shot and she can kind of grow into it a little bit. Okay, back to the haul. So I grabbed this white skirt. I'm gonna call it a beach cover-up because it's a pretty sheer type skirt. It does have a lining in it and it has some of those like high low effects. And I thought it'd be fun just to have that for, yeah, some upcoming stuff. That one was from Goodwill for $5.19. I feel like I actually found a decent amount of clothing for a change. I don't usually find very much clothing for me. And this time around, I, find, I found quite a few things. So I'm happy about that. I got this new with tags Old Navy skirt. This is a pencil skirt and it's fairly like stretchy. It has like elastic up here. This one, I looked at the tag on the side, by the way, if you don't know that, you're curious like when was this clothing maybe out in stores or that kind of thing. It, on the side seam down by the bottom, usually there's a little tag and this one says 819, so that would have been August of 2019. So, you know, several years old, but obviously some someone didn't wear it and it's a very classic piece. Uh, it's one that comes I think just below my knee and I don't have anything like it. So I decided to get it. I found a dress that I think would be good for fall. Uh, let me show it to you guys. So it's got like a smocked type bodice with one of those frilly sleeves. However, I'm not gonna wear it as a dress because for one, it's too big for me. It's a large and the back is cut open has like a string. Um, it's just not really something I would wear personally, but I liked the fabric and I texted a picture to my sister a few and she was like, yeah, she likes it. And the skirt is really cute. This one's also from Old Navy, but I think I'm just gonna like cut it off here at the waist and turn it into a skirt. I think it'd be perfect for fall. And I'll probably just put like some elastic at the top. I might film it if I do it. This one is also a skirt and it's a similar one. It's a high-low effect. Again, this is a Hippie Rose brand, which I think is usually TJ Maxx or Marshalls, also 519. And I thought that this one looks maybe a bit more like winter or spring. I found this sweatshirt. It's super soft. It's just a hoodie. So very basic but it's a nice olive color and it appears new and according to the price it's their apparel boutique line in goodwill so it's like 13 dollars almost which is a little expensive but i think if they feel like it's new items or really good brand names they market more and so i decided well i don't have one like this at all and i have some stuff coming up this fall so it's a little cheaper than what i'd buy new so i'm gonna get it i found a really cute skirt and this is from leaf and linen which is up in baldick ohio uh, i talk about them actually i show i've shown this store in quite a number of my videos from holmes county videos it's right beside east main kitchen a plaid skirt like this is something that i kind of had on my wish list so i just thought that was really fun i got this one at mission thrift so that makes a little bit more sense that's the mennonite run thrift store down here it's a very like comfortable skirt it's a linen i believe and so it gets softer you know, the longer you have it. I have a few of their other ones. This one I think would be maybe a couple years old. And this is a skirt for Oakland. It's got some cute like tan flowers. I would say this is gonna be another year or so. Then I found a couple of new pieces uh, with tags. So this is both Cat and Jack from Target originally, but these both have new tags on them yet. And I like having like a little stash of baby clothes that I can gift when someone has a baby. I just like having them on hand. And so I was like, you know what? I'm gonna grab them because it's a pretty good price and you know, they're new. So that was kind of fun, random, but yeah. I found these quick dry shorts 
for Jackson. They're a little big for him now, I'm guessing. He'll probably be next year or so. He is like a skinny as a rail type of kid. And so these are 10 to 12, and I'm guessing it'll be another year or more at least. These were $2.99. I found these pants for Oakland, more like PJ pants. They're like a nice copper color with some roses on them. And this is one thing that I'm very excited about. It's actually an Ikea throw. So it's a nice like black and white checked print. And then it also has like the white on the one side. It's a knit throw. I feel like I've seen them in store. I just never have actually bought one. This one was $9.99. Good condition. I think it'll be perfect, especially for winter. And it's just like a classic black and white color. Okay, so at Goodwill, I found some Corel plates. These are not exactly, I don't think like the ones I have, but mine are very similar. They have like a gray something through them. So if they're not exactly like this, they're very close. And I've lost maybe a couple plates already, but these are the ones that I like to use for dinner just because they're so lightweight, they're pretty durable. And I don't have a lot of them. I literally only have like four big ones and like three of the smaller size. And so I know with the kids getting older, it'd be nice to have, you know, all like the bigger kind. So these were $2. I think they had maybe six or seven there. I just grabbed four of them. So they were $2 a piece. And that first day that I went thrifting, this is a really cute picture, probably more for display or like displaying flowers. I had it out on my kitchen shelves already with my green kitchen. This one was on sale for $6 and it was at the Spark treasure chest. So maybe slightly higher prices, uh, but I thought it was a, a really nice, unique picture. I found a cute little tan linen jewelry box. Not that I really wear jewelry per se, but I thought it'd be fun. I could use it for storing things in. Also, it's it's cute displayed, so it can be practical. I could even use it like, yeah, I have another like bigger type box sort of like this, so I could stack them on top of each other. I could put it in a little shelf. I don't know. I just thought it was cute. I grabbed it. It was $3.99. I found this tray. I'm not really sure what else to call it. It's like a ceramic tray. I would guess it would have came from, it says home elements, but I don't know. It looks more like a home goods TJ Maxx style thing. This one was $3.99 at Goodwill. I like looking for some unique things and I don't have anything like this. So I was happy to find that. I grabbed a thing of hangers at the Goodwill today, $3.99. And I got rid of a bunch of these. I gave some to, I think my mom or my friend Michelle when we moved in here. I'm, I'm always like just a little bit short, I feel like. And so I just grabbed a couple more. Let's see, I got some books. So some Berenstain Bear books. I grew up on Berenstain Bears. It's sort of like a nostalgic thing. They were all 99 cents. I grabbed this one for Caden, Diary of a Wimpy Kid. This is the big shot one. I also found this slightly used Buccaneers football. It's a kid's size, like a junior size. Personally, it's a good size that I can throw myself. <laughs> but they're going, they go through footballs a lot, especially with like the pool or outside or whatever. And so I grabbed that one. And I also found this cute little Louisville Slugger bat. This is from the Louisville Slugger Museum and Factory. So this, I was actually thinking of maybe being able to like display in their room. We're gonna give them a makeover, I think here in the next month or two maybe, and somewhat of a makeover. But they love anything related to baseball, football. And so it's, I thought, hey, I'm gonna grab that because maybe be something to put in their room. So I haven't even shown them that yet. At Mission Thrift the other night as well, Caden bought this dart game. It's a magnetic one, so it's not like, harmful or anything, you know? Um, the other side looks like that. Also at Mission Thrift, fairly random and kind of boring, but you know, there's always a need for gift bags. So there's these two white ones. They were a dollar a piece. I think there was another one or two there. I just grabbed two. And then this brown style, slightly bigger one, $1.50. And then this um, puzzle, this one came from the exchange, which is the pink store. So this is new in the box and I was thinking of giving it to my friend 
I'm going to see. She's going to come visit me and she loves all things Titanic. So depending if she has room in her very lightly packed backpack, <laughs> I'll see. If not, I'll keep it and maybe sometime we'll work on putting it together. We put a 500 piece together, 499 piece, I should say. <laughs> Somehow we lost a piece apparently. But anyway, this one, a thousand I think is a little bit much for for me, but I thought, hey, it was on sale for four four forty seven. And then my final thing, of course, is this bench that I showed you guys. And this is I think my favorite one. I love it. It's so cute. It's like almost like an antique. And this one was $17, I think. So it was slightly more expensive, but it's such a pretty like unique thing. And we've already been using it a ton. We don't have to use that big plastic two-step thing that I have around here. And Harper <laughs> really likes just uh, pushing the thing around, which I don't necessarily enjoy that. So I'm gonna need to work on that, but it's so nice to have this thing and it's just, it's almost like a decor piece, but it's very practical. So that is it. I hope you enjoyed seeing what I found. I have definitely been thrifting quite a bit in the last week. I'd say it was around a week. I went to a bunch of different stores and I'm happy with what I found. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you next time. Bye guys. <laughs>